For my last tutorial on external lab view types, I will look at clusters and class objects. Clusters are handled in the function node using the adapt to type type and handles by value data format. As you can see, my cluster here consists of an integer and a double. I also have a cluster array here. This is the output of an object array where each object also contains an integer and a double. Here in the block diagram I retrieve my cluster. Here's the retrieval of the cluster array. And here I access the values in the object array returned from this function node. In my code I have a struct corresponding to the cluster with an integer and a double. Note that the struct type int double cluster, the pointer type idc pointer and the handle type idc handle will all be used in these examples. Even though the node was set up to use a handle, what is sent to my function is a pointer to the cluster, not a handle. It is still pre-allocated though, so it is accessed in the same way as before. It gets more confusing when using clusters in an array. Clusters are not stored as pointers or even handles, but as structs. It does make memory management a little easier though, since I can allocate all memory needed in one go. Cluster arrays are represented with handles, just as expected. But here I allocate the handle including the structs, and then value access becomes a bit easier. Class objects is a different beast entirely. As you can see here, I have an array struct containing handles to my cluster struct, and the array handle that is sent to my class function points to an array that is already allocated with the correct size. I am not attempting any allocation in the code, I'm just accessing the array the way I would any other array. The array that is returned will show up in these four indicators. The way the block diagram is set up for the class array is quite different from other calls. The function node is still set to use adapt to type with handles by value. But the thing is that the function node doesn't accept a class as a parameter. You might be able to connect a class wire, but LabVIEW is going to crash. Likewise, if you connect an array and resize it in C, LabVIEW is going to crash as well. But if you set the array size beforehand, you will then be able to populate it. If I run this VI now, you can see that all values are transferred nice and proper. So, clusters work just fine, even though single clusters use pointers and arrays use the clusters as they are. But classes might be best to avoid. This example works, but it's a very simple one. For one thing, it doesn't account for polymorphism. On the other hand, converting a class to a cluster isn't any problem. For small clusters or classes, it may be convenient to convert them to their individual values. I tried looking around for documentation about how to handle classes, but couldn't find anything. If you've seen anything pertaining to it, please leave a comment. Thank you for watching.